Welcome back to another episode of EG Outdoors. Today we are going fishing at Bartlett again, once again. Hopefully to get a crappie, if anything. Bass. It is windy. It's really windy. Uh, there's only like me and some other fishermen down there. Hopefully it's good. I'm changing up the game and I'm using You guys see that? You guys know what that is? A live well, a live well. It has minnows, and I think I have like a little worm bucket floating around in there. Uh, so we're gonna be trying that out today. Enough talking. I got everything rigged up. I got a slip bobber rig on both, and I brought one of my bait casters just in case uh, nothing's nothing's going. Then I'll be using that. But yeah, out here solo again. Hopefully we can catch some fish. But let's get this started. So I casted him and it's not set up correctly so I'm gonna have to reel him in. I'm leaving him out there for a little bit. See if anything gets him. Uh, slimy. Oh, nice. Thanks, wind. Let's see. I'm gonna cast him over the over yonder hopefully you guys can see this there you go he's out there my bobbers are supposed to stick up straight and they aren't that one has a heavier weight so i don't know why Probably because it's not, I don't know. Hopefully he's sinking. I'm gonna leave this pole right here. Probably not the safest way to put it. couple hours out here all right oh nice So it's been a while since I last talked to you guys and I had to make some modifications to my slip bobber rig because it was just sinking. I added too heavy of a weight. But uh got one dialed. The worm is kind of just taking it down because it acts as a weight as well I believe. But I have faith in the, the one with the minnow. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I haven't got any bites. Just gonna leave it out there. They're very lively. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. Uh, if anything, I'll reel up the the worm and put another. Uh, minnow on it 
wish me luck. The only luck I got is this camera is now shattered. And now I have to go get it fixed. Thanks, wind. <laughs> but I'll let you guys go. And if anything comes up, I'll record it on the other camera. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. They sure are, they're gone. Oh my god. Oh, that's probably a bass. Because he's diving down. Oh my god. I, I don't think this is a bass. Oh, crappie! All <laughs> right. It's <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus, he's barely hooked. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. That is a huge crappie. <laughs> so you think this one's a female? You think this one's a female? It kind of does. It was like right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like. And that was on a straight minnow? Yeah. You want to borrow one? No, I'm going to. I got. I, I can. They're there. They'll pick this sucker. It's just. Maybe they can move in now. That's a nice. That's a nice fish. I'm hoping it's. The ones you want, the ones that are the best eaters, are the males that are a little bit smaller than that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong, some guys will eat those, but if you want good taste, you want males that are a little smaller, the most tasty. Yeah. God, that one's big. <laughs> but she didn't put any... She... That's, that's what, that's the kind of, that's a barley crop here right there. Welcome back everyone, so it's been a day since I went fishing it and caught that crappie. Uh, today I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it and try it out, catch clean cook. So what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be uh, what I did last time in one of my previous videos. It was on a yellow bass, it was the Frank's Red Hot fried Frank's Red Hot 
I'm gonna try that again, but in like a burger style or a sandwich style, however you want to say it. But let let me get all my ingredients out, and I'll show you the steps that I'll be doing. And yeah, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, let's see it. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all in the egg wash and then I'm gonna put in the flour, Frank's Red Hot flour, Frank's Red Hot, and into the oil. Hopefully, it's hot enough. Got everything set up. Hopefully, I'm quick enough. And I'm just gonna give you a little time lapse of how I'm gonna do it. All right, well, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. You guys saw that mess. When I first put one in, it was a little too hot. I'm gonna clean up and get back to you guys after it cools down. And then I'll make my burgers or sandwich and see how it tastes. It looks good. Here's a product. So I got the golden crispies at the top and some Frank's Red Hat at the bottom. I kind of wanted to switch things up and see which one tastes better. So we're going to give them a try in a little bit. I'll see you guys after I get all this situated. See you in a bit. Gonna add some mayo. I don't even know if this is going to taste good. I think I've seen it on Ace videos. I think he does a lot of sandwiches. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna do both buns. Oh! Wow. Well, that's, that's a whole chunk of mail that just fell. So this is it. I thought these <laughs> these buns were gonna be big, and I can only fit like two little crappy bites on there. But look, you could totally tell the difference between the Frank's Red Hot. This better be fire. I'm gonna add a little one at the very top. Those are my burgers. So this is the final product. It looked pretty good. If I do say so myself. Cause you know, I made it. But I'm uh, bring my drink over there and get everything together. And I'm gonna try these out for you guys. <laughs> Hopefully they're good. Or yeah, I'm gonna try them out right now. Alright, well, I gotta make this quick because my son's waking up. This is the Frank's Red Hot. Mm. Frank, Frank's Red Hot. It's fire. Let me try the plain, the plain sandwich.
Hmm. It did get. I did put it in the Frank's Red Hot oil, so it's not shell plain. You can still taste the Frank's Red Hot, but it is really plain. If you were to add like pickles, you know, um, lettuce, tomatoes, or or something else to add some more flavor, uh, you could choose this one. But plain like this, plain and simple like this, is perfect. Frank's Red Hot. This is it. And this was only one copy. I still got some left. But yeah. I'm gonna let you go because my dogs don't wanna come in and my son's gonna wake up here pretty soon. The end of the video. Hope to see you guys here pretty soon. On the next one. We got a cold front coming in, so I won't be fishing this week. And probably waiting until the following week, see if I get a day off. A good day off and and I'll see if I can get on some yellow bass because I know fish are starting to come up and I'll let you guys know this is great you guys should try it um, I showed you what I did to the flour I added salt and pepper um, but on the next on the next one I'll see you guys peace <laughs>